Hey, what's up? Mr. Parker here to review Ryan Nicholson's newest movie, Bleeding Lady, formerly known as Star Vehicle. <laughs> Basically, I uh, ordered this uh, a long time ago, and I was having trouble. They were all back ordered, so I just went over to TLA finally, and they sent it right away. Uh, but uh, anyways, you guys are familiar with Ryan Nicholson's work. Live feed, torched, gutter balls, hanger. He's never disappointed, as this cover says. And I am a huge fan of all his other movies, especially Gutter Balls, which is a crazy rape revenge slasher flick. Did a review for that. Anyways, this one is uh, stars uh, Dan Ellis, and he's kind of a, a driver for the stars. He drives around... Uh, actresses and actors to the set and stuff like that but anyways uh dan ellis gets a gig where he is driving around a b-movie actress he absolutely loves a scream queen that's his favorite scream queen and uh he has a sort of a he's a super fan what you would call it and uh in the set with the you know he doesn't really get along with the director he's driving around because either he thinks his he, he thinks his script sucks which it does which also plays in they're making a film within a film so it's one of those type of deals and uh, you know some of the actresses suck on the set it's funny the script is complete garbage and uh, one of my favorite parts about this is uh, Dan Ellis's Don is constantly bickering with the director poking uh, little jokes at him poking always jabbing at him right in his ass uh, it's really funny because they uh, the director is actually a prick you can't stand him he does a well a great job but you just cannot like this guy no matter what he does you know I'm really going for something fresh something with an edge with my my signature written all over it I mean now I can show the world what I can do with real actors on on a real set I got no doubts this this will be epic epically straight to video excuse me did you say something oh I'm just trying to figure out what I might have seen of yours your name's not really familiar to me and I'm kind of a movie buff enough to know a slasher in the woods ain't nothing new it's an homage, my love letter to the horror genre. Now, there is a big difference between giving a friendly nod to the masterpieces of horror and just ripping them off outright. You say you're a movie buff? Well, then you'd know our leading lady here, wouldn't you? I mean, stop! If we go any farther, we'll... We'll... Climb. Cut! Sienna! You should be way off book by now. You can't keep calling for your line, damn it. Either get your shit together and get it right next time, or I'll cut out all your lines and write you in as a mute for fuck's sake. And more blood next take. You understand, Jenny? This thing should be almost weeping blood, huh? Yeah. Weeping. Okay, I got it, boss. And you, uh, as much as uh, Dan Ellis' guy is a complete wacko and a uh, dick, he's uh, very likable, looks cool. He's cheesy as hell looking, though. He's got a perm, a freaking perm. I knew, this, I knew something was wrong with him. I was like, what's up with that guy's hair in this? Anyways, this guy's always looking crazy in the movies, and this one's no different. Anyways, uh, he decides to protect the lead actress, which leads him into a crazy spiel where he starts killing people. In the very beginning of the movie, you know he's pretty nuts because it shows him whack off four people and little splattery detail. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? <laughs> Don't, man. Don't, man. Don't, 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 don't want to fucking do this, man. <laughs> what is that, man? This is fucked up, man. Stop! <laughs> This one's not as gory as some of Nicholson's other things. I mean, it is as gory, it's as bloody, but I wouldn't say it's as gory, if that makes sense. I mean, uh, there's not as much elaborate special effects like as uh, some of the really nasty stuff in gutter balls with the penis splitting and stuff like that. But there is one really gratuitous head chopping scene, which looks excelsior. <laughs> That's a little shout out to Murder Party there. Sorry about that. Uh, anyways, uh, I enjoyed the film. Uh, it's a little bizarre, actually. It's kind of strange. Uh, Ryan Nicholson in the special features is saying he was trying to branch out, get a broader audience. I think he's kind of trying to do the uh, Ford thing, uh, make one for them, make one for you. But Ryan Nicholson also 
uh, gives you what you want, gives the whore fans, he delivers to them, he delivers some of the gore to splatter, some of the crazy dialogue, the cheesy dialogue, the weird stuff, like he says, everything about his films is over the top, including the acting, including the lines and everything like that, and there's stuff that all the Nicholson fans will enjoy, splatter and blood, cheesy lines, a uh, racial, like uh, some, a couple slurs in there, uh, Dan Ellis gets in a fight with a couple of gay guys on the set that are complaining about what's on the food table, which is actually a pretty funny scene uh, about them not eating fish. Uh, yeah, a little obvious joke there, but it's funny. Fresh salad, guys. I made your favorite, Don. Fresh salad. Deb, you are the greatest. <laughs> no veggie, no cheese? I have tuna salad. It's really good. I don't eat fish, sweetheart. I don't eat fish. Wah, wah, wah. Suck it up. Uh, not all of us are carnivores. Yeah? I bet you and your partner here eat meat from time to time. Right, Dip? I'm sure you eat fish from time to time, asshole. Look, don't even get me started on fish. Faggot! Piece of shit! Well, it's not worth it. Let's go. And uh, I enjoyed it. Can't complain. And not to mention, probably the best part about the film itself is the score, which is done by, I believe, an old Italian uh, music composer. I believe it is. Yeah, music composed by Gianni Rossi. Gianni, Gianni Rossi. My pronunciation skills are zero. But anyways, um, he does a great job. It's very uh, 80s-ish. And uh, this film feels a lot like the 80s. I, I enjoyed it. It has a pretty decent body count. Like I said, some of the deaths aren't ridiculously over the top. Some are. It's a little bit of both it kind of uh, for a broader audience and uh, I enjoyed it I thought it was a pretty cool movie and uh, there's it has a couple special features on here behind the wheel and I also noticed about Canadian filmmaking it's very cool it seems like they support like Canada like supports their like lower or you know their film industry and uh, does little documentaries about it and that was really cool to see them do a documentary on here uh, a movie channel do it about this but also there's uh, alternate scenes, deleted scenes, and uh, commentary by director Brian Nicholson and Dan Ellis. So I uh, picked this one out. This one was put out by uh, Vicious Circle Films. Uh, I pretty much buy everything Nicholson does because he's that good, and I can't wait for uh, his next release. Famine looks really cool. Also, uh, another thing I wanted to mention is in the making of, uh, I saw Ryan Nicholson wearing a Gorgasm shirt, and that goes to show you that Ryan Nicholson knows awesome movies. Anyways, uh, Bleeding Lady, great stuff. Recommended. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. <laughs> Please don't kill me. I'm her boyfriend, I swear. Yeah, yeah, let me finish. Now you and me both being fans and all. What do you say we find out? <laughs>